Welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into some surprising phrases women often say when they're cheating. Understanding these signs can help you catch subtle clues and approach your relationship with more awareness. Let's break down these nine surprising things women might say when they're unfaithful and what each really means. Number one, I just need to find myself. This phrase is often used to justify pulling away emotionally or physically, giving her an excuse to distance herself from you. She may be testing the waters with someone else and using finding herself as a way to buy time. When you ask why she's been distant, she responds with, I feel like I need to figure out who I really am without any distractions. Suggest doing things together that allow both of you to grow, like taking up a new hobby or going on a trip. This can create shared experiences that may rekindle closeness. Number two, I don't feel like myself lately. When she's cheating, she might express feeling off or different to explain any change in behavior, but it's often her way of deflecting attention from what's really going on. She's trying to rationalize her behavior to herself and to you by hinting that something inside her has changed. You notice she's more withdrawn, and she says, I don't know, I just don't feel like myself these days. Encourage open dialogue about what's changed and offer support. Let her know that you're there to help her through any challenges she's facing. Number three, we've been together for so long. Bringing up the length of the relationship can sometimes be her way of preparing to exit without fully saying it. It may also be a form of guilt management. This phrase can be a subconscious attempt to justify her actions, especially if she feels like the relationship is routine or stagnant. During a conversation, she says, we've been together for so long, sometimes I wonder what else is out there. Propose activities to break the routine and add excitement. New experiences together can help reignite the spark. Number four. I need to focus on my career right now. She might use work as an excuse to avoid spending time together, but it could also be a smokescreen for redirecting her attention elsewhere. By claiming she needs to focus on her career, she can legitimize why she's spending less time with you without raising suspicion. When you ask why she's been busy, she says, I have so much going on with work. I need to focus on my career. Express your support for her ambitions and show interest in her career so she feels valued for more than her achievements outside the relationship. Number five, you deserve someone who makes you happy. This statement can be a red flag that she's preparing to exit or justify her behavior by casting herself as the one who isn't good enough for you. She's attempting to transfer the responsibility onto you, suggesting that she's not capable of giving you what you deserve. After a minor disagreement, she says, I just think you deserve someone who can make you happier than I can. Reaffirm your feelings and discuss what makes each of you happy in the relationship. This can help bring back positivity and address any hidden issues. Number six, I'm going through a lot right now. This phrase is often used to keep you at a distance emotionally, giving her an excuse for secrecy and space. This can be a way for her to deflect questions and avoid addressing the real reason she's been acting distant. You ask why she hasn't been opening up as much, and she says, I'm going through a lot right now. I just need some time to sort things out. Offer gentle support and let her know she can confide in you. Building emotional trust can encourage openness and honesty. Number seven, I just need a little freedom. She might use this phrase to set the stage for spending more time alone or with friends, but it could also be a subtle way to explore freedom in other relationships. She's looking to create opportunities for herself without feeling restricted, but this can also lead to infidelity. When you ask about her solo outings, she says, I just feel like I need a little freedom and independence right now. Respect her space, but set boundaries around what's acceptable for the relationship. Clear communication can prevent misunderstandings. Number eight, why don't you go out with your friends? She may encourage you to spend more time away, which could indicate that she's trying to create opportunities for herself. By urging you to go out, she's creating space for herself without you around. You suggest a quiet night together and she says, why don't you go out with your friends, I'll just stay in and relax. 
Be open with each other about your needs for time alone versus time together. Discuss the balance that works for both of you. Number nine, we're not really compatible anymore. If she's been seeing someone else, she may start to question compatibility as a way to create mental distance and justify her actions. She's possibly aligning herself emotionally with someone else, and this is her way of preparing you for a potential breakup. In a discussion about your future, she says, I feel like we're not as compatible as we used to be. Maybe we've just grown apart. Address the compatibility concerns directly, discuss how your values align, and explore ways to reconnect and improve compatibility. Relationships can be challenging, especially when communication isn't open and honest. Recognizing these subtle signs can give you insight and help you address potential issues before they grow. Remember to communicate openly, approach these situations with empathy, and prioritize trust. If you found these insights helpful, be sure to subscribe, like, and share this video. Stay empowered, stay informed, and we'll see you in the next video.